For some weeks now, I've been challenging the local Kroos with a cylinder from a dog puzzle toy. <coughs> These cylinders dispense kibbled cat food when they're moved in certain ways. Even with a wine cork blocking one of the openings in this cylinder, the crow is able to knock out treats fairly easily. The rock and roll technique is not the only way the crows can get to the kibble though. They like to drag the cylinder by the side handles. It's a great couples activity, a fun way to get dinner with a date. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like it and leave a comment if you're so inclined. Also check out parts 1 and 2 in this series. Links to those videos are in the description below. For even more Corvid content, please consider subscribing to my channel. The crows also think it's fun to knock the cylinder off the picnic table entirely. But the centerpiece of the crow feeding area is a second dog puzzle. It's not fully assembled yet, but the base contains three little compartments. These can be covered with dark blue plugs that look kind of like stacked donuts. At first, I left one or more of the compartments unplugged, or partially plugged. The crows are happy to dine on the kibble in the uncovered compartments. And knock kibble out of the familiar rolling cylinder. So here a really small crow flies in. Oh, it's a grackle, not a crow. Grackles like kitty kill too, but the deck feeder is easier pickings. In this shocking footage, a squirrel noms up handfuls of kibble. I know squirrels are not vegetarians, but I've never seen this happen before. This squirrel must have been starving or conducting a novel protest of the recent peanut shortages. Crow family dinners are extra hectic when there's just one plate to eat off of. The hierarchy becomes clear. This curious crow is clearly strategizing, taking in the plugged up feeder from all angles. It's a little hard to see, but I left one of the plugs a little askew to give the crows a hint. And that's all this crow needed. This plug in front is completely secure, but this crow learns that the third time's the charm. It takes him a second though to feel safe enough to go for the kibble itself. I'm not sure if this is the same crow, but I have a feeling it is. This is the next day, March 17th. I think the genius crow has come back for lunch. This crow complains and then flies off to the wide open deck feeder. This crow checks inside a plug and sends it rolling, then gets bored. Here's another plug I've deliberately placed at an angle. The crow is still a little wary. This crow is comfortable with the new toy space. But this other crow is nostalgic for the cylinder. He seems torn between the two worlds. Splash! Dang squirrel! Look at him now, a defensive sploot. It's nice to see a crow chasing up a squirrel for once. Here's what usually happens. This crow needs to try bowling. So I think the crows are getting the hang of this. So what should we challenge the crows with next? Last fall, I offered my crows Thanksgiving dinner. 
which consisted of mashed up baked potato, sweet peas, cashews, and the centerpiece, a single hard boiled egg cut in half. I really thought they'd enjoy it, but like a kid who just wants pizza instead of a four course dinner at a fancy restaurant, these guys just wanted their cat food back. Actually, they did enjoy the cashews, and they did try the egg, but didn't know what to do with it exactly. Another creator I follow feeds raw eggs to their crow friends. So I decided to try that instead, placing the egg in one of the compartments in the base of the dog toy feeder. Crows will steal eggs from other birds' nests sometimes, so I thought they'd peck open the chicken egg right away. But as you can see, they didn't seem to know what to do with an intact egg either. So I went ahead and cracked open the top of the egg for them a little. This crow, at least, knew what to do then. He got to spend some quality time with the egg before a more dominant crow jumped up on the table. But the dominant crow was still a little confused. And eventually exits. This crow reminds me of a gentleman dining on a soft-boiled egg from a silver cup. Well, kind of. Here, a curious crow angles in for a nibble and then grabs the whole egg. Now, instead of the formal dining table, we're squarely at the kids' table. Here's where it starts to get messy, folks. I'm just now thinking, I should have released this video on Easter. This is the last time I'm leaving out a raw egg for these guys. Ugh, it looks like silly string. I think this crow's eaten an egg before. Kind of looks like he's an expert at it. That's a bit of shell there. What do you expect from crows? They're messy eaters. At least he brings the bowl closer to him. What's he gonna do with that piece of shell? Dang it, the clip cut off before we could see. I guess he ate it. Coming up in part four. The tower goes up. And a second species tries his paw at the puzzles. Well, that's all for now, Yolks. I really appreciate you visiting, and as always, thank you for bird watching.